Hey everybody, this is Heather from Storing Up My Treasures at Blogspot, and I wanted to go ahead and record a video and show you guys a couple of layouts that I've done. Actually, I did them all last night. I was able to go scrapbooking at a friend's house and I had a blast. And I wanted to go ahead and show you guys some layouts that I did last night. And I really tried hard to incorporate things that I've purchased the last couple of times I've gone scrapbook shopping and things that I've shown you in haul videos, just to kind of give you guys an idea of you know what my layouts kind of look like and how I kind of think about using things and what I think about when I'm purchasing them. And so anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys just kind of an idea of how I do things. And um, I've been scrapbooking for a couple of years now, but I've just been recently um, kind of evolving how I do things. So, you know, I, I know that there's always someone in the world that's going to do things better than you and someone that's going to do things not as good as you. So just, you know, if my style is not your style, I apologize, but if I have some things that would be of use or that are of inspiration to you, then that's why I'm making this video. And then when I'm done, I have a few little things I picked up the last couple of days I wanted to show you. So this is my first layout. So this is my son and my husband, uh, my oldest son. And what I used in this particular layout that I've shown you in some other videos is I had purchased some jumbo playing cards at uh, Dollar Tree. And so I took one and I cut it in half and I kind of, you know, tweak the corner here a little bit and then I distressed it a little bit with some um, brown ink and then also this uh, craft paper ruler border sticker paper stuff um, is also from Tuesday morning that I showed you in a previous video and I took that sanding block that I had purchased from the 99 cent store and I roughed that up just a little bit to give it a little bit of a distressed edge and then I did a kind of a cool technique with this border mapped here and I'm going to show you that when I go through and show you what I've purchased lately so this is my next uh, layout this is of my youngest and some things that I incorporated in this layout that I've shown in some videos uh, previously was I had purchased that vintage bingo game and I cut up part of the um, paper instructions that came with it and I used that strip here and then also I used one of the actual little um, bingo markers down there it's kinda hard to make out the lighting is not really good it's been pouring rain all day today <laughs> Anyway, so that's uh, the layout that I made with a couple of items that I purchased recently on this one. This is actually a two-page layout, but I doubt I'm going to be able to get, yeah, it's not going to do both of them, so I'll do one at a time. Um, I had showed you last time that I bought a paint chip book from um, Second Hand, or actually that was from Yard Sale. So I pulled one of those out and I used that here. And then also I had bought some Sandy Lion stickers from Joanne's a while ago and I used one of those here. And then on this page, here this is the second part of the layout. This is from the Trinket Tag book that I got from the dollar bin section at Joanne's, the new Studio 112 line. And this is one of those oversized jumbo brads that I had purchased in that uh, little Ziploc baggie from the secondhand store. So that is that layout. Uh, this is a layout I did of my daughter. And in this particular layout, this trim right here that's closest to the pictures, um, this trim was in that big lace grab bag that I got from the secondhand store a couple weeks back. And then this up here, this medallion, um, I actually used that, um, that picnic and coaster that I bought at the Dollar Tree and I backed it and then put a little overlay. This is lace that I got out of that grab bag from the secondhand store and I just layered a whole bunch of you know various sundry things on top of it. And so that's that particular layout. And then the last one I wanted to show you was this one and this uh, doily came from that lace grab bag that I got at the secondhand store a couple weeks back and I used these really cool, um, these are fasteners from Seven Gypsies, I picked those up at Joanne's, they're really cool, they're, you like you pinch them close so they're almost like I don't know, almost like an alligator clip kind of a thing. And so you just pinch them closed. And so I just used those to secure to this uh, polka dot paper here. And then I just glued that down to my layout. So that's some ways that I've incorporated some of the things that I've been sh uh, showing lately that I've bought. 
And then um, I also mentioned I have purchased a few new things. I went to uh, Tuesday mornings the other day, and they had a Making Memories paper pack. It was a 24-sheet pack for $2.99, I believe it was. I actually used some of that paper in this particular layout right here. Um, this bordered paper, the floral paper here, is from that pack. And then this really cute eyelet, white eyelet paper is from that pack. And then also this pink polka dot paper that I have underneath this doily came from that pack as well and then it also had included this really nice um, distressed kind of a it's a real pale gingham blue and then it also had this really pretty it's it's hard to pick up but it's like a buttercup yellow it's a damask print also distressed in this really cute um, kind of a pale striped vintage she looking um, paper as well. And so there was four of each of those sheets, six different styles total for $2.99. I really like that. And also from Tuesday mornings, I picked up these, um, they're Heidi Grace, they're little, what are they? are called like metal adhesive, um, accents I guess and there's two different packs in here this was a dollar ninety nine for both of them and I actually ended up using a couple of them last night um, on my daughter's layout I used some down here in this little thing that little that teal one and up here in the corner um, and my hands on the way down here by that rhinestone is another one that I stuck on there I got those from Tuesday morning and the last thing I picked up there were these. It's a bundle pack of three, and they're these really big silver safety pins. They're two inches long, $1.99 for all three of them. And I thought that I would these would be kind of neat to use in the layout, and I also thought it would be fun to kind of figure out a way to have maybe like thread some beads or thread some, I don't know, different charms or something on these and then uh, fix it to a layout. So that's what I got from Tuesday morning. And then I also went to Joanne's the other day. And um, they had these. I was these are awesome. They're they're really big. They're four inch foam stamps, alphabet. There's thirty two of them total, um, full alphabet, and then it also has several different punctuation marks down there. And the price tag it's hard to make out. It was two dollars and ninety seven cents, but when it rung up, it rung up at a dollar ninety seven. So I was really excited about that. I like the font, and then I also thought it would be fun to play around with these larger letters and a layout, and then also um, the different punctuation marks down there. And then also from the uh, 99, or I'm sorry, from Joanne's in their dollar bin area for their scrapbooking stuff, I got this cute, it's like a copper glitter glue, and I liked this copper color. I thought that would be uh, pretty universal to use in different layouts. And then the last thing I wanted to show you is I went to Dollar Tree the other day, <clears throat> And they had these. They're Kiwi uh, One Shine. They're actually shoe polish. And it's a three pack. These are the actual little things. And if you open them up, they are actually applicators that come with the shoe polish already um, on there. And you, it's basically, the, it's meant to be used just like a disposable one time only shoe polish application for your shoes. But what I thought it would be fun to use it for, and I just got some on here. Oh, well, it adds to it. <laughs> Um, I actually used the shoe polish to distress this border mat on my son's layout right here, and it worked really well. It's pretty fast drying, and it absorbed into the paper pretty quickly. And the thing is, is that these, um, the applicators themselves, they're made out of pretty, this is like the foam that you use to buy, like the foam paint brushes that you get from Joanne's that are supposedly disposable that you can reuse over and over again. This is the same type of foam that are used for these. And I actually took some dish soap and I scrubbed pretty good and got all the shoe polish off of here. And then I thought that this would be really good to hold on to to use for to, is a distressing tool with either your ink pads or, you know, acrylic paints or whatever. And for three for a dollar, and you can just rinse them out and reuse them over and over again. I thought that that was actually a really good bargain and a lot cheaper than a lot of the distressing tools and different things that I've seen, you know, shopping around looking for fun things. So anyway, that's some stuff that I've done lately, and I just wanted to show you guys kind of how I do my scrapbooking, and just a couple of you had mentioned that you'd like to see some things that I've actually done, and it's fun to actually show things that you've done and not just kind of show stuff that you buy, although that's always fun too. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, you guys, and happy crafting!